thanks very much for joining us up and council. It's great, greatly appreciated to give you the time this afternoon. For minute taking purposes, this will, will be recorded. Thank you, General Manager. Uh, welcome everyone to the only uh, extraordinary council meeting on the 14th of March 2024. Um, we have an application to attend via audio visual link from Councillor Barry. Do we have a move on? Councillor Edro, Councillor Scholes, uh, Councillor Drake, Vice and Over, against Peter Carroll. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to call on Councillor Douglas to uh, give the acknowledgement of the country. I'd like to acknowledge the Wanneroo people, the true custodians of the land that we meet on today, and I'd like to pay my respect to Elders past, present and emerging. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Douglas and Councillor Dunn, a uh, civic prayer. Almighty God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, we give you thanks for the blessings you bestow upon us in this shire. Grant to those who hold office in this council the spirit of justice and truth, of wisdom and charity, that mindful of our responsibility and of the needs of those we serve, we may promote the true welfare of your people, exercise wisely and faithfully the authority committed to us and advance the common good. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> We have called the um, an application for leave of absence of um, Mayor Reynolds. Do we have any uh, disposal of pecuniary or non-pecuniary interest? Um, no, it's in the group. Oh, no. Uh, I believe there's no public participation. No business arising. No mass of motions. So we have a movement for a German into closed council. So no, the council is very much. <coughs> track that. This is excuse me. Committee yeah. attendance reference. Um, initially, do we have any um, questions of clarification? Um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, do you give us a background one, please. Thank you, Councillor Woodruff. Thanks very much, Councillor Woodruff and Councillors. Essentially, Councillors, we'd like consideration, please, of reviewing the terms and conditions of the Grant Review Committee to include all councillors as decision making members of the committee. And for this committee to actually be decision-making function of council. And the reason for this are they're twofold. One is so that it expedites officers in carrying out the decisions of the committee. Um, as you know, there are sometimes very tight deadlines for grants, and this enables us to expedite those decisions. Uh, and secondarily, if, if councillors at a meeting decide uh, we want to defer a matter for further information, there's only two weeks between that meeting and the council meeting, um, rather than another month. For at the moment, of course, this committee recommends decisions, but they have to be adopted by council at the ensuing council meeting. That's they're the main reasons for requesting this consideration. Um, there is a couple of things for council to consider, though. Council's time is already heavily invested in council, and this is another responsibility for councillors. Um, so we do, as, as a team, we have discussed that. But on balance, if councillors really think the positives um, are such that we're sort of seeking your indulgence and accepting that. Um, the other thing is if, there's, if it does become a community of the whole of all councillors, the meeting will be a public meeting, there's that as well. And the meeting will be recorded and provided online. Well, that's a, that's a so a consideration, I think, because of your <coughs> transparency and providing information in the community, I actually think that's benefit providing information online and people can, can uh, have access to that. They're the main considerations, Councillor. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, Councillor Don? Um, what is the <coughs> um, amount of time, amount of notice will be given before we called in for an extra, for 
grants meeting. The, the amount of notice? Yes, if we're called in for an extraordinary um, meeting on grants, grants meeting. Yeah. Like, 24 hours or? Thanks very much, Councillor. Generally speaking, we try and give you a list. The, the meeting is monthly, so that's in your calendar every month. Yeah. We try and provide, and Katie does a great job in, in making sure we try and provide you at least a week's notice. Mm. You send the agenda out at least a week beforehand, as we're trying to do with the normal council business paper. So you've got ample time to review the papers. So we wouldn't have an extraordinary grants, grants meeting? That's not correct. <coughs> no, we'd only, we'd only be in extraordinary circumstances that I can't really give you the case. Okay. Yep. Why well, that would be the case. Okay. With that cycle, mm. um, with Two weeks between the grants meeting and then the council meeting. If there was an extraordinary matter, we should be able to report to one or the other without calling an extraordinary matter. Okay, good, thank you. Sorry, Councillor Grady. Yeah, just for some clarity. So, has, has there been the case, I mean, I understand this hasn't occurred, I think, ever in this council, not this current council, but any council before now. We haven't had to do this. We've operated on the, the grants committee and then. What would be an example of something? So obviously we want to do this to, to make it quicker. Um, have we had examples recently or is there examples that come in where it's it's an emergency grant or something that has to happen immediately is it with, with the council grant? Is that the reason we're doing it now? Because obviously it shortens the time length from four weeks back to two. So is it is it the case that we're getting grants that uh, are so urgent we can't wait four weeks, we have to wait to only just two? Thanks, that's a great, that's a great question. Essentially, our big concern, the reason the Grants Committee was formed was you weren't getting the opportunity to review grants. So they were coming to Council, you weren't getting a lot of information about it, and we were we were not comfortable with that. Um, and so because of the time frame of the grants, we thought this is an opportunity to, to be more efficient. Um, however, there's no there's no requirement to do so. It really is a decision for councils if you think this is something that you can support or not. There's no there's no excessive pressure to do it. We just thought it might be a more efficient process. Thanks for your answer. Um, I agree with it. Frankly, I, I agree with it. And, and again, thanks for thanks for your explanation because I do think that when we have a policy, we've only just last month when we passed a new policy, and I think and handing out ratepayers' money is probably in the top couple of most important things. It's not the most important thing we do. And I do think sometimes that you know, you know, a separate a, a group or a separate report, something we can councillors can concentrate on separately, understand the policy, understand the criteria. Um, I actually think it's a really good idea just that rather than being amongst a you know a two or three hour meeting once a month, I think it's far more important than that. Uh, you know, that's why for me I think it's a good idea. And thanks for the explanation. Yeah. I, I'm not quite as effusive about the idea as Councillor Grote in that we have lots of things that come up urgently or reportedly between council meetings. So why aren't they being treated the same way? The other issue I have is... Uh, uh, Councillor sorry, Councillor Scholes, yep. it's questions for clarification. Well, question for clarification. Why is it being done on this particular incident when it happens in lots of other areas as well? Essentially, thanks, Councillor Scott. Thanks for the question. Essentially, it's because the the expeditious nature of applying for grants. Yeah. So there is there is as you know, we, we sometimes don't have a lot of time to apply. There is sometimes a lot of work that goes into it. Um, so in essence, this is two bites of the cherry rather than currently we have one. Um, so that's really the, the idea behind it all. With other matters, for example, as you say, with major projects that are having a problem, we need to bring up. Extraordinary council meetings. That's they are really they are really unique and discrete matters that we have to deal with because of these circumstances. Yeah. This is something we know is occurring all the time because the grant the circularity of the grants process requires us to always more or less be considering grants. As you know, you know grants is a great job. Another question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Another question for the general manager. Uh, looking at the following this meeting, there's, there's a we have an agenda for a grants committee meeting. And I note the way the business paper is set out. It actually puts me in the position where there are two recommendations within the recommendation. I'm conflicted in one and not in the other. So I'm automatically out of the process. And I know when the, when in the past we've had the grants committee meetings in, in, in the past, 
it wasn't just about passing or, or an agreeing to the payment of a grant. It was an exchange of information from the council officers to, to the council members as well. And I'm, I'm a bit concerned that if we go to this straight duplication of a council um, business paper, um, we're actually going to lose that. So A, a I, I think if we're going to go to a grants or council, and I don't necessarily have a problem philosophically with that, but the items have to be listed individually. Yes, right. They do. We can, we can certainly look at that. It's, if that's the council preference, we can absolutely do that. And the aim here is, as you remember, councils at one point, not, not so far back, we didn't have a grants committee. And we were, I mean, it was a problem. We weren't getting the information in time. We were being asked to make decisions mm -hmm. without sufficient time. So that that was the impetus behind forming the grants committee initially. And we think that this is just another step towards improving that process. Giving you information in a time manner is we, we, we're passionate about that and make sure we do it properly. I have another issue. Well, can we, is it, is it oh, okay. it's, 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 on the it's in regards to the grants committee and the way that the business paper is set up. The interesting thing in looking at the business paper for the grants committee meeting that's following. As I said, it's got two items in the one one motion. Um, I would also identify that we're being asked to vote on those items, and we've not seen them before, or, not, or no, no councillors have been aware of them before. So we're actually now in the situation where there would be no prior knowledge, except in the minutes, and then we've got to vote on them in that meeting. I just, just how we manage that is all I'm concerned about. Not necessarily going totally against the idea, but we're now in a situation where it's a situation can't be for us and we're going to vote on it straight away. So, thanks, Councillor Scholes. With regards to the grants, business, have we've had that for a number of days, is that right? Yeah. 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 So, we've had the information to you for a number of days. We try and get it out a week before we end as much as we can. With, this, with the items that are joined together, we'll, we'll separate those in the future. That's not an issue yeah. at all. Yeah. So if that, if that makes it easier. Yeah. I do have one more. I note the document for the Grants Committee is 350 something pages long. And the item which I'm talking about is at 334. So to get to that particular item that I have concern about, I had to read, I had to basically scroll through 334 pages. There's a lot of information in, in that document yeah. I think should be treated as an appendix to the document, not necessarily as part of the document. So thank you for that, Councillor Scholes. In relation to that, the information we're talking about is the details of the grant applications. And so that's really supernumerary to the decision making function. It's really providing you with the information you've asked for yeah. so that you can have a full, full exposure, full experience and all the information, but it's super, let's say, supernumerary. The decision making function is just additional information. If you think that the, the, the format of the report needs to be included, yeah. we can certainly do that. I'll, I'll, but it's certainly not like the, I think it like, should be the appendix, should be there in the document, but yes. should be the appendix to the document. Yes, right. Well, we can look at that. Thank you, thank you very much, gentlemen. Can we confine it to clarification? Of the officer's recommendation because that is that no, it's okay. That, that is proper meeting practice. Yep. Do anything different. This doesn't specify dates and times, it just says monthly. Will it be the case that it will be programmed every month? And if we don't need to have it, we can just cancel it, obviously. It'll be the same time and date. The reason I ask that, certainly for my part, four o'clock is difficult to get to. Yes. Three times a month as it is now, Mondays, Tuesdays and whatever other day. Yes. And four o'clock, three times a month yes. or four times a month. It's certainly becoming, and certainly for anyone that works, four o'clock is a difficult time well, every yes. single month. Yeah. 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 Got this grants community yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't talk about timing or, or dates. It just talks about monthly except January, but no times or dates at all. We can provide that now, Calvin. Okay. Well, if you like. Thanks, Councillor Brady. Are there any other questions for clarification? Yeah. Well, I have one. Um, sorry, no, no, General Manager. Um, and it goes to what you mentioned about um, the extra demands on council time. The report states that quorum, the definition of a quorum, would be the majority of councillors. 
Are we able to amend that to a quorum being defined as majority of councillors present? Rather than seven being the than the majority of our full body of councillors. Is that, is that something that is because of the committee of the whole? I don't think it is, councillor. Yeah, 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 that that was fortunately. No, thank you very much. Yeah. But this certainly, again, as you say, Mr. Chair, it's trying to minimise councillors' need to attend. But unfortunately, in this case, if we would approve this, then it would have to be a whole council. Thanks, gentlemen. All right, we have we have a um, an officer's recommendation. Do we have a mover? Councillor Marshall, seconder. Councillor Woodruff. Um, any speakers for? <coughs> against? I commit the motion. All those in favour? Against? That carried unanimous. Um, excuse me. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, next motion is Neil. Council Okay. Well, um, we no further business. So, clear the meeting and closed. Thank you. Four a.m. on fourteenth December. Thanks, officer, councillors. Thanks for taking the time. I know it is a, it is a added impost in the already.